on guys, hope you guys are having a great day. As always, today we're learning how to drop a quarter pipe on inline skates. Let's get it. All right, so you got some skates. You've been skating around for a while. You're feeling pretty good on them. You maybe have been to the skate park a couple times and just kind of pumped around some small ramps, but uh, the next step is to drop the ramps, right? That's the big scary thing that's keeping you back from just letting loose in the skate park. Well, today let's talk about that. Very first thing you want to know, you need to have some basic skills down. So just being able to skate around on flat land, even pumping around on uh, some bowls. You can just do some pumps and just roll up and down, back and forth as much as you can, just to get the feel of the transition. That's gonna help you out a lot when you're dropping these ramps. The next thing you wanna do is you're gonna wanna find a wedge or just an angled uh, bank ramp. Uh, you're gonna wanna drop those first. And you're gonna follow the same steps we're gonna drop with dropping a quarter pipe. So I'm not gonna go over dropping the angle bank ramps because you can apply the same steps to that before you drop into a quarter pipe. So let's uh, hop on over to a quarter pipe and uh, let's figure out how to do this. Let's do it. We found our quarter pipe right behind us here. Uh, I recommend having a quarter pipe that's not next to another quarter pipe really quick. I'm gonna show it to you here just because this is the only quarter pipe I have that has good light on it. I highly recommend starting on a quarter pipe that is maybe a three foot, two foot, something that's very small, manageable. Um, you will notice though, as you get to bigger quarter pipes, you'll go faster, but the transition is much smoother um, just because there's more time for that ramp to play out and the uh, trajectory of that ramp to play out. So the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna on top of that quarter pipe and we're just gonna come up to the coping and just touch it. Uh, you're going to do that a couple times just to make sure you feel like you can slowly come up to the coping, put that H block or your uh, the center of your two wheels on that coping before you drop in. And you just really need to be comfortable with this because if you're not comfortable with it, you're going to get all tensed up. And if you're tensed up dropping into a ramp, you're going to spill. Uh, it's a, a recipe for disaster. So that's the first thing we're going to do. So one thing you'll notice is I'm stepping up to the coping. I'm not going fast ahead, I'm just barely rolling to it. I'm putting out my H block on my confident or dominant foot onto the coping. My other foot is dragging behind and it's almost in a T-stop or L position so that I can hold myself with those back wheels that are uh, parallel to the, the coping from rolling forward and dropping in before I want to. The second you decide it's time to drop into that coping, all you're gonna do is you're just gonna pick up that back foot. I always recommend putting first putting that back foot onto the coping and then dropping in. So the next thing you gotta think about, this happens really, really quick. So we really gotta think about our body position. You'll notice I'm in kind of that predator stance. My knees are bent, my hands are forward, my head is over my skates. I'm as in a perfect line. Once that's all lined up, all you're doing is it's, it's almost like you're you're just leaning into a, a swimming pool. Uh, if you've ever just stood on the side of the swimming pool and just just straight body just kind of lean down to go like belly flop into it, that's what you're gonna do on here. It's, it's basically just a, a quick lean. Once you start feeling the skates engage, you're gonna start thinking about recorrecting because what you're doing is when you're dropping in the ramp, you want to stay parallel or what is that, perpendicular? <laughs> At a 90 degree with the ramp. So as you start up on the ramp, you're like this, then you're kind of pushing over, then you want to go so far, come down and then meet the ramp again and be straight back up again. So you're always at 90 degrees with the ground. The last thing you really want to know about on this is when you drop a ramp, do not look at your feet. Once you make sure you step on the coping with your foot, yes, look at your foot there. That's totally fine to make sure you're hitting your wheels or your H block. But after that, look to where you're going. Never look at your feet when you drop a ramp. If you're looking forward, you're going to go forward. Your body will stay in the forward position. 
because the worst thing that could happen dropping into a ramp is you lean too far backwards and boom, you slip out and you fall on your butt. So let's take a look at it. And that's all there is to it. Make sure you guys wear protection. Uh, really good thing for dropping in first time is a crash pad or an ass pad. I wear them all the time at skate parks. They save my hips and my butt tailbone all the time. Uh, second, always make sure that you can pump the ramps first. I would say almost all the way to the top of the ramp that uh, you're, you're gonna be dropping in on. Third, drop in on an angled ramp first. Don't drop in on the actual quarter pipe first. Uh, and then once you start dropping in, it's just follow this, those steps. You're coming up slow, putting that uh, the center wheels, the crack between the center wheels or the H block on the coping, making sure that you're in that uh, drag stop or T stop, L stop stance. And then when you're ready, just pull your foot up, put it on the coping and continue to just lean forward into the ramp. Look down the ramp, don't look down at your feet as you drop in the ramp. You know, making sure you pump your legs. Uh, there's a little bit of flex in those legs. You don't want to be stiff. You don't want to be straight-legged. You're going, if you're straight-legged, it is so hard to overcorrect up uh, and lean forward enough. When you bend your legs, you can really suck up that ramp and not slip out backwards. Uh, but yeah, that's really all there is to it. I hope I explained it correctly, guys, uh, as well as that you could figure it out safely. If, I, if you have any questions, you know what to do. Um, make sure you ask them in the comments below. But before we go, I have one more thing. If you're dropping in ramps, you're gonna eventually wanna drop bigger and bigger ramps. And up to a point, uh, until they start having a lot of vert on them, they're basically all the same thing. You're just gonna get more speed. You need to lean in a little bit more to connect with that uh, steeper ramp. You, you'll be able to do it. It's just a confidence thing. Again, make sure you're pumping those ramps before you do drop into them, but you'll have no problem. But once you get into ramps like these big boys, something, I don't know, eight, 10 feet or higher, you're gonna start seeing some vert on them. It's a straight up and down wall part to them. And uh, that's when things get a little bit more hairy and scary on dropping in quarter pipes. So I'm gonna show you a technique that I use once I see a lot of vert on a ramp, uh, I used to use, I mean, um, to drop into the ramps first. It's called a sit drop. So with the sit drop, all you're gonna do is, like it, like, like it sounds, you're gonna sit on that coping, and inch your way forward until you're just on the edge of the coping. Suck those skates up under your butt, and just stand up, almost like you're standing out of a chair, like you're rocking forward and pushing out of a chair, and you're making sure the, the wheels are connecting and pushing up on the ramp behind you and under you, uh, so that you can connect with the wheels and roll down that ramp. That is the easiest and best way to drop a bigger ramp with vert is sit dropping into it. Yeah, it seems scary, but it really kills a bit of that vert, um, that height feel, because your head's so much higher when you're standing over a ramp rather than sitting on it. Uh, so it really helps out. Once you got that done, it's like any other ramp. You felt the ramp, you dropped it once, just come back up there, don't think about it, and just drop it with the same mechanics that you've done every single other ramp in your life. All right, I think that's gonna do it for today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I hope you guys got something out of it. If you guys uh, had any questions, please let me know in the comments below. I'd love to get back to you guys. Like I say, if you guys enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe, make sure you ring that bell so you miss any of these uploads. And until next time, guys, just keep rolling.